he's very male, he's very uh, Russian in the traditional sense, in the way that he, he carries himself, and yet he's full of self-questioning, and that's, I guess, what led him to Perestroika and uh, Glasnost, which was he wanted the Soviet Union to ask itself some hard questions. Well, I think if he has any one overwhelming quality, it is probably generosity. He, he came to my house in Dublin. It was very open. I really saw what I admire about him so much. Brutal honesty. My own conscience does not allow me to give any kind of spin to this, to fake my religiosity, to go with candles to public prayers. I don't want to do that. That would be deceiving the people. He is a rock star and I'm a fan. And I, I like it this way around. He's a rock star in the sense that he knows what to do with a microphone. There were a number of people who fully understand what nuclear war would have meant. But there were others who wanted to stick to every gun, to every missile, in every SS-18 missile. And that is the most powerful Soviet-built missile. There is the destructive power of 100 Chernobyls. If I had another chance to begin perestroika, I certainly would have make the, made the same choice for freedom, glasnost, democracy, openness to other nations, and commitment to peace. Priorities would have been the same, but the sequence of steps would have been different. What I've been watching after the end of the Cold War are attempts to simplistically try to approach the big global issues. Some people don't understand that we live in a new world and there is a need for a vast perestroika of the world based on cooperation, not on domination. Gorbachev had a big idea and it cost him his presidency, it cost him the Soviet Union itself. And peace is not a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know, it's, uh, it's complicated, it's messy. Few men in history have had the power to turn civilization into dust. Before we talk about peace, I would I would like to ask you about war and about having your finger on the button of a vast nuclear arsenal. And I wanted to ask you uh, in what situations would you have been prepared to press that button or ever? <laughs>